Abu Huraira radiallahu anh reported, a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to give him advice, and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Do not get angry." The man repeated that several times, and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied every time, "Do not get angry." Reported in Al Bukhari. Three times the Prophet of Allah get, gave this man an advice: "La taghdam," don't get angry. And this shows us number one, it is. No problem to ask a person of knowledge about how to do things which is in the correct manner. What is the advice that you advise me? So this man, he can ask for the Prophet ﷺ to give him some sort of commandments, some sort of instructions that would show him more good and make him to strive <coughs> and gain him more hasanat. But he said to him to say it in concise manner because too many things he might not remember. So the Prophet ﷺ, he gave him just a little one, which is لا تغضب. Don't get angry, that's it. Nothing more, you don't have to remember more. And the man insisted, Messenger of Allah, give me another one. The Prophet of Allah, he emphasized لا تغضب, لا تغضب. And that's why the scholars have made this hadith, one of the hadith that Islam rotates around it. You remember some of the hadith that Islam rotates around it? Like number one in Sahih al-Bukhari, إنما الأعمال بالنيات. <coughs> also, man amila amalan laysa alihi amruna fahuarad. Action based upon intention. Hadith number one. Number hadith number two, which Islam rotates around, is that he who does an act which is not being approved by the Prophet of Allah is rejected. Number three, al halal ubayin wal haram ubayin. Halal is clear and haram is clear. And baynahuma umur mushabbahat. And between them there are doubtful matters. To the end of the hadith. That's the third hadith. And the fourth hadith is this one as well. And it could be another one من حسن إسلام المرء تركه ما لا يعلي. From the good manner of a person is to leave what is not who is concerned. It's not your business. So here is لا تغضب because they said that Islam rotates around this hadith and it gives the whole good. الغضب is the key for evil. والله. That's why the Prophet of Allah counseled this man number of times. Don't get angry because the anger is the, the, the one combines all types of evil. And if you are away from it, you are away from the evil. That means you are in the good, you are in the right. And the ghadab is basically heart is boiling, blood is gushing quickly into your veins. And a person has got this appetite to taste the vendetta and to revenge from the person. And that's why things will come out from such act is either killing, stabbing, harming, all types of haram things, beating up for no reason. Then after he breaks the arm of a person, sorry. What, sorry for what? You broke his arm. Sorry, he kills him. What do you mean sorry? Because of your not controlling yourself in the times of anger. When you have anger, you have an appetite, shahwa, appetite, to go and do something which normally will not do it if you're not set in state. I call it state of drunkness. And you know that the person as well, if he's an extreme anger and he divorces his wife, he might get away with it. I mean, the judge will not account, uh, take him on account for that because he doesn't know what he's saying. If he said it and then he read, oh, I didn't mean that. But he could say it because he was out of his norm, because he's been pulled away from his norm, because he's so extremely uh, angry. And the Prophet means also he said that the judge should not uh, make a judgment while in a state of anger or a state of hunger. Type. So this is the, um, the anger that's not supposed to be between us Muslims. Or not even an anger towards a non-Muslim, unless it is in the war. Yes. Or unless it is for something to violate the vile inviolables of Allah. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, he never got angry with the Messenger of Allah if it's to do something with his personal. But when it comes to the inviolables of Allah, he will straight away and he will be enraged and he will, uh, he will straight away straighten up the, the situation with his words or his actions because the inviolables of Allah have been touched here. Nothing to do with this person. So he will never take revenge for himself. When the Prophet wasallam was said to him that he was not just an Abdullah ibn Mas'ud he told him these words. He's heard it from this man. This man who is the 
head of the Khawarij. That this, this division of yours, O Muhammad, it does not really seek the pleasure of Allah. Prophet Allah did not hear that. Allah Muhammad said, I'm going to convey these words to the Prophet of Allah. So he went to him, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was so angry, not angry because of himself, because he represents Allah Azza wa Jal. He's the ambassador. So he said, verily, Allah put the Jazakallah here, puts the whole earth and heavens of the earth in my custody, in my trust, and you don't trust me. Allah trusts me with the whole message, and you don't trust me. I'm not going to be just. And he held his nerves. He said, Rahim Allah Musa. May Allah have mercy upon my brother Musa. He was harmed with more than this, and he was what? Well, he was patient.